17-year-old trade school student DeAndre Hercules met his untimely death on Wednesday night in the gallery of his Upper 6th Avenue Malik home. Police say around 10.25 p.m., DeAndre, a student of the MIC Institute of Technology, was at his mother's home, seated in the porch with a female relative, when a man dressed in all black approached them. He withdrew a gun from his waist and shouted to the duo not to move. Fearing for her life, the young woman ran into the house while seconds later, the man opened fire on DeAndre, shooting him multiple times. DeAndre died on the spot. Speaking via cell phone, a close relative says known criminals should be rounded up and jailed without trial. And if they are to be released, it will be only after they have been proven innocent. The gang thing, they want to kill anyone another. So when I swing in here, you catch whoever it is outside. You swing and catch whoever it is outside. And that go, when I go and stop, I ain't going to stop now. <laughs> they had to take, sometimes they had to take a draconian measures now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people had to give up some of their liberties for things to get right. Because the horse already leave these tables, you know. Said the government could not stamp out crime, they can only manage it, and says there had to be peace in the area which was brokered by the police, but that has since broken down as those signing for peace never had any integrity to begin with. They can gain integrity from that kind of people. There are no integrity. So no peace. So we sign in for peace and are sending killers still. Whoever catch outside your daughter, your son, whoever they catch outside when they pass. As I pass through the area, check people out, you see, things wasn't like before. People inside, locked down. You could still come out your house, you could still sit in your gallery. My son got killed, sit down in your own gallery. That pass. That is how it is.